Hello there, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Andy coming to you live from andyatuga.com. Thank you so much for taking time out to watch this video. And uh, I don't know what you're searching for here, but whatever it is, um, today I want to share with you the three secret tricks or three main components to building your network marketing business online. Now, these are the three main things that you need to build your network marketing business online. Should you be looking for a way to do that? Today I'll be sharing those. So, uh, sit tight grab a note something this video will last about five to ten minutes tops and I'm sure you should get the value as much as you can now at the end of this video if you like what you see you like this video um, please feel free to share with your friends feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're watching on YouTube and if you're watching on Facebook like my page and get in touch I might be able to I actually will be able to help you out in your home business whichever way you look at it so let's get started straight away now introduction um, what is online network marketing and what it's it is not now online network marketing is not pasting your links um, your rep links everywhere on social media now if you go on social media today you see this quite a lot a lot of people take their rep links and then they paste it on a page or they paste it on a wall or they go into groups and they spam groups and they put all these things in the groups and things that they will get some results do you get some results I, I don't know but as far as I'm concerned those things never get any results right if I see someone doing that most of the times I'm kind of like thinking does this person need a little bit of help because in my opinion it doesn't work I've come across a lot of people that it hasn't worked for so online network marketing is not pasting your links everywhere on Facebook or social media it doesn't work that way. now it is not also about approaching and chasing all your friends on social media it gets to a point you become so annoying and irritating that people actually block you off which is not cool now when that starts happening especially if you're using Facebook these days Facebook has a Facebook jail right if you're getting a lot of blocks and a lot of you know people reporting your posts and stuff you will start getting into Facebook's red book they will start looking at you right so it's not a good way of doing things also it's not about sharing your business opportunity everywhere right um if you're in a travel company it's a lifestyle company so it's brilliant you know if you're taking photos of your your lifestyle this is what it's about it's great but most most companies are about commodities and products like you take a photo of the shake with a, a company profile on it and then you paste it it's not about that sharing photos of your base up everywhere most of the times just goes to hurt you because if it doesn't hurt you you're marketing for free for somebody else you're in business for yourself but you're not there to market for people for free because there are a lot of reps think about it there might be a lot of reps in your business or in the company that you represent that are also promoting online so imagine you pasting that link everywhere pasting that brand everywhere and somebody meets somebody else and they sign up with them so it's not cool now so what is online network marketing online network marketing is a viable and reliable way of marketing and branding yourself online right so it's viable and it's reliable it's something you need to master and need to, you need to learn right it's providing value to your target audience I don't know what your target audience is you may be in a health and wellness industry or you may be some something similar and what you might want to do is to provide value to those people you know what they're looking for you take a subject you take a you know a point of concern and then you find a solution and you give it out that is providing value now it's also about connecting with people online now it's not just about hitting people up and sending them messages but it's about connecting and building relationships now let's go straight into the three C's of building your network marketing online or the three main components that you need to look out for you need to use to build your network marketing online now the first thing you want to do is to capture this is where you capture the details of your audience so it doesn't matter what your audience is you at this point you are just capturing their details because let's face it if you're not capturing details you're losing business now what tends to happen when you don't capture uh, details most people wouldn't buy on the first transactions most people will buy probably on the seventh averagely the average person will buy on the seventh exposure so if you're actually online and you are not capturing any details you're leaving money on the table you might want to go back and check and make sure that you capture the details of everybody that is checking out your video checking out your post if you can capture their details go capture their details 
now you do this by learning how to market you can't capture people's details with just by pasting a, a lead capture page in their face you have to provide some form of value now if you're providing value in exchange for their details in exchange for email addresses names phone numbers that's great most people if they're getting the value they're looking for they don't mind putting their details in so long as that's what they're looking for and they would get some results from it so to learn more about it you might want to visit my blog and i have a post on this actually which is called a value-based sponsoring so you just head on over to my blog and then search for value-based sponsoring and i'm sure you get some uh, it, it goes much into depth about what to do in terms of providing value so to capture lead you need to learn how to market if you don't know how to market this will be difficult then you need to learn how to provide value right so what are the tools you need you need a workable marketing system although this may be you may be able to get away with this but trust me it's vital to your success now if you want to learn about the marketing system that we use here on a regular basis to you know build a business online you might want to send me a quick message pm me or comment below and i'll get in touch with you now lead capture pages is the second thing you need again today you can get a lot of places where you can create a lead capture page you know it's not such a big issue creating a lead capture page now capturing that lead is a different thing to building a relationship and i'm going to get to that point in a minute so you also need a mentor is another tool you can use a mentor or a coach right so you can set up for a coach now if you're looking for a coaching program you can check out my coaching program at andiachuga.com or you can message me and i can point you in the right direction on what to do the next thing you need is a blog or a medium for providing value now but why do i say a blog i blog a lot so um i know that blogging is one of the most sustainable ways of building your business online so you need a blog again you know if you find find a little bit about this marketing system that we are recommending you will be able to get a blog attached with it which is cool really cool or you can find a medium that you can provide value and provide valuable content from so there's youtube there's facebook there's all the other channels you can use but the most important thing is that you're providing valuable content out there now step number two is to connect now to connect after you capture somebody's details um, of your prospect prospective clients maybe you somebody's put their name and their emails on your lead capture you want to get in touch now this is what I missed a lot when I started online my first month I generated almost 238 leads I never contacted contacted a single one of them I didn't right and that was a huge mistake because that was actually it, that caused me to start all over again so you might want to do this properly so after you capture your leads you want to go and connect with them so by connecting with them you are actually building that relationship with them so what do you need to build that relationship the first thing you need is an autoresponder an autoresponder is basically for communicating with your clients on a regular basis um, it could be by automatic means so you can set up emails that will go out to whoever has opted into your lead capture page on a regular basis you need to get an autoresponder now the second thing I use is a Facebook account why Facebook because most people today have a Facebook account now if somebody puts their email in my lead capture page I'm gonna find them on Facebook right I take that email place on Facebook Facebook will tell me who they are I send a friend request and I send them a message and I start connecting with them this is one of the best ways to connect with people so you want to connect with people and build that relationship and have that conversation going the last component you need is to close so your last C is to close people now there's no point in making friends on social media you're there if you're using this you're there to make you're there to build your business so most people get into the trap they build a relationship and then they get they get stuck they're not able to close the business right now after you shared whatever you want to share with them you want to be able to ask for the business now you don't have to feel guilty so long as you believe that what you're giving them if is of greater use value than what they're paying for so long as they have more value than what they're paying for or whatever you're providing them would help them i don't see why you have to feel bad about it it's a great thing to share it's awesome you love it it will add value to their lives and value to their business so why wouldn't I share it with you so if I share it with you I will ask for the business so 
I know that everybody is different. This is a key in closing people. Some people, it takes some time. Some people would want to think about it. It's okay. Whatever you want to do, so long as I ask you the questions, I'm not looking to challenge you. So long as I'm asking the question, I'm asking for the business, that is great. So how do you close? Now, in closing, you want to move your customer by asking questions that lead to the decision you want. So if you're asking questions that has nothing to do with business, when it comes to the end of your conversation, you're losing it. It was like, what's, where do you live? It has nothing to do with the business that we're doing, right? At the moment, we're chatting. I've shown you a presentation. I've asked you a few questions. So the questions I'm going to ask you is questions towards the decision that I would like you to take. So what did you like best about it? Do you see this would benefit your health in any way? Blah, 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 blah. So you're asking them based on the decision you want to take. Doesn't matter how many questions you ask, so long as you ask good quality questions that will make sense to them. Now, second key is when you ask a perfectly good question, wait for an answer. Don't interrupt them, right? A lot of times, and I used to do this a lot, I type out a question, especially if I'm chatting on Facebook, I type out a question, a closing question, which is a good one, after asking a series of questions, and they go blank for another minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, and I'm sitting there. Then I type something else. Are you sure you're interested? No. If I send one question, I type one question out to you, or I ask you over the call, I am waiting for you to give me an answer. If you don't give me an answer, the conversation doesn't move on because I've asked the question and it deserves an answer, right? So this is what you need to build your business online. These are the three main components that I'm actually using, learn from, um, most of the leaders online use this system so you might want to check out my blog and the for more information to check out more about my coaching program you might want to pm me or send me a message whatever you want to do and i'll be able to point you in the right direction you might also want to check out the marketing system that we're proposing click the link below it would help you out a lot thank you so much for watching please feel free to visit my blog or feel free to subscribe to this channel if you're watching on youtube i would love it feel free to comment like share if you're watching on facebook like and share with your team members if you found any value at all thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video god bless you bye